ABS light illuminating. We already saw the snow up in the mountains. Farm fix. Nissan Titan with big V8 under the hood and this truck has ABS light on. We have a slip light indicator on and 4x4 four four doesn't engage. There's a key in my hand. Let's confirm the issue. Turn the key to the on position and Nissan Titan clicking <laughs> blend actuator door as usual. Let's run it up the truck. Here we go. Truck is cold. Warming up idle. And as you can see, we have a ABS light illuminating. And we have slip light on as well. Yeah, this sometimes a cluster thing. To, uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Back to normal. Truck has 258,099 kilometers. We're in two-wheel drive. Let's try to switch to 4x4 and see if it will engage. Okay. Can I hear the clicking? There we go. See the lights are flashing. Flashing and... It's not engaging. Let's take it truck for spin and see if those flashing transfer case and front axle lights will turn solid just to verify make sure our 4x4 doesn't work now as you can see at the corner the right corner that 4x4 light started flashing and uh, means most likely we don't have the 4x4 engaged and um, yeah that light that light indicator didn't turn solid most likely 4x4 is not engaged I'm on a slope let's try to take off and see if it works Okay, that's confirmed. We don't have 4x4 working. Okay, we're back under the roof and park. And yeah, we confirmed 4x4 doesn't work. Four wheel drive is light is flashing. Transfer case light is flashing. Let's try to engage. Front axle is not illuminated. And we still have that slip and ABS. Okay, let's turn the truck off. Let's scan the vehicle, see what codes we have, and um, yeah, we'll get a direction. But I'm going probably to get that ABS light fix because we're getting or not having any input signal from the one of the ABS sensor, most likely. All right, I'm going to scan the vehicle for any stored or present codes in a vehicle computers. Blend actuator doors clicking, me some things as usual. Okay, and I would like to start with the most inexpensive diagnostic tool, blue driver, under 100 bucks. I think this one should be enough. If we won't have much information with this blue driver scanner, OBD tool, we'll, we'll go and use the launch, but I would like to keep it simple as possible blue driver identify the vehicle and scan for codes all system modules yeah it will take a while okay no 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 
better voltage than normal. Yeah, that's all right. Key has been on for some time. C1104 front left sensor. Clear codes and we have a diff lock ABS system C1203. It's related and we have four uh, all mode all, all wheel drive four wheel drive code engine speed. Yeah, I have four codes, some of them primary, some of them secondary, and uh, we have this report. Let's we'll just uh, save it, make a screenshot, nice, and it also will be saved in the um, reports, memory, and let's clear all codes and scan it again and see what codes we'll get back. But at least we have a direction, you know, front wheel sensor. That's for our ABS. Okay, let's clean all codes. And um, yeah, see which one we'll get back right away. All codes are cleared. Let's turn the key to the off position. Start the vehicle up. see ABS and slip lights came back right away hard code let's shift to 2 by 4 yeah switch is working I went 2 by 4 and we have those hard codes slip and ABS let's go to the front left wheel and do the checks and tests and inspection right there c1104 front left sensor this is front and this is left wheel is off and first is always visual inspection we have an abs sensor abs sensor wire and abs sensor extension harness okay the brake caliper you cannot see the sensor itself right now we have to remove the caliper but let's take a look and inspect the harness here and up 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 oh look at that that's why we had a hard fold and yeah it's open yeah wiring harness is damaged as you can see here and then Easy enough, a <laughs> very, very unlikely spot. Yeah, somehow or another, this wire get close to the rim, probably. This bracket might get bent, yeah, like that. And uh, yeah, broken wire. Have to replace the sensor. I was thinking we'll do more tests check the continuity of the sensor or check the voltage produced by the sensor but this is obvious this is my farm beater firewood getter truck I have to get a new sensor eventually but for now I just decided to fix the wiring it's just the two tiny wires which we can solder together I have everything I need it will be the fix for now and I want to get rid of that ABS slip light and get my 4x4 working because winter and muddy snowy slushy time is coming pretty soon we already saw the snow up in the mountains and uh, with this problem with the supply chain it might take a while and uh, we'll get it fixed and next time when I will get a sensor, we'll just put a new one, that's okay. Yeah, let's get it all ready to roll with the 4x4 working. All right, wiring harness is repaired, good for now. I hope it will take care of that light for some time. And let's uh, fire it up our launch this time and do the health report will take a while 
And we done our health report. We have ABS, 1104 front left sensor, which we just fixed. And we have a diff, a diff ABS system, 1203. They're all related, no other code stored. Let's uh, clean them, clean the DDCs. Okay, yes, it's in progress. Yeah, cleaning, 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 no fault, no fault, no fault, 100%. Done. Okay, let's start the truck. See if those lights will come back. And uh, so far, as you remember, we had the ABS and slip light came back right away. Now they're not back. And uh, yeah, means we don't have any code set. Let's try to shift to 4x4. Yeah, there we go. Shifted. So transfer case is on. And that, those upper <laughs> wheels are not lit because we have this kind of light, see? I push it in, now it's on, right? Now we'll have our 4x4 working. Stay, please. There we go, as you can see. Now we're on 4x4, no ABS and slip. Yeah, this is just instrument cluster, see? Anyway. Yeah. Farm fix, nice and easy. Come on, can you stay? Oh, we'll come back. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just illumination. And uh, yeah, we'll call it fixed. Let's put everything back and take it for a spin. All right, I have five layers of trusted electrical tape. It will take care of any moisture and dirt getting inside. So far, so good. We're right on the hill and it's a good spot to test our 4x4 system. Let's set a camera on and see how it works. Okay. Four by four is working. <laughs> 